Hola, que tal? Bonjour, sabaydi. Buen dia, my beautiful gente. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. So, obviously, my voice is back. I'm still a little bit raspy and have a little bit of, you know, deep voice going on, but I sound a hundred times better than I did in my last video. And, um, you know, I actually attempted to look decent today. I did my hair, put a little bit of green sparkly eyeshadow, put some mascara on. I actually look decent this time and not like <laughs> yesterday's news like I did in my last video. But as you guys could tell, like in that last video, I just was not, I was not well. My allergies were kicking my ass and you could clearly hear it in my voice and I just was not feeling up to par to really like get done when I look at it I kind of cringe and I'm like damn maybe I should have done something with my hair but it's fine the video got up which was the whole goal so here we are a week later trying to be consistent <laughs> so I have received bathing suits from Shein so today we are going to do yet another haul on bathing suits from Shein uh, those of you that have been following me since last year you uh, will probably see in my queue that I did a bathing suit haul last year from Shein as well. So this year I have some new bathing suits. I do have one from Walmart. I think I did this last year too. I kind of like just threw one in there from Walmart. It was kind of random. But I bought this one from Walmart literally a week before I had made my order with Shein. So I was like, I'm going to just go ahead and throw it in <clears throat> just so that you guys can see what the fit is like. And so far, Walmart has really not disappointed me in their bathing suit section. They really have not. I have tried a couple bathing suits from Target, and Target is just trash. I'm, I'm, I hate to say it, but in their bathing suit department, they are just utmost trash. I can trust bathing suits from Shein before I can trust bathing suits from Target. And to me, that's kind of sad. Like, because it's Target. You know, everybody loves Target. Well, majority of people. My mom hates Target. She's such a hater on Target. But anyway, so that is what we're going to do today. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. And I will I'll let you guys know all of my thoughts, I guess, opinions on the bathing suits. Uh, more towards the end of the video. Kind of just give you guys my input on what I think of this year's uh, bathing suits. I know last year, I it was hit or miss. I kind of had like... I think maybe four or five bathing suits and out of the four or five I only kept two or were able to only fit like two of them but this year I actually had a lot better luck with Shein bathing suits although I still have my little thoughts and opinions on them as well too so let's go ahead and get into the video guys and yeah okay y'all so this is bathing suit number one so this is a size extra large. So I got it because I really, 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 really have been like obsessed with like this neon orange and like lime green. I, I guess it's kind of like in style right now. It's in season or whatever you want to call it. But I kind of seen it a lot last year too, like in bathing suits and like outfits and stuff. So. I really just wanted it because of the color and it almost has like this leopard print type of thing so <clears throat> I got this one specifically for the color and the print and as you can see for this being an extra large <laughs> I feel like this little boob action in this underneath it just it really bothers me okay extra large in the bottoms is you know it's pretty okay but I always have like this extra material on the top because I really probably need like a medium or a large maybe but the thing with Shein though is they're their sizes are so hit or miss it's like you get the extra large in the bottoms but they don't give you the extra large in the tops it's just not enough material but we know this from last year so last year in my bathing suit haul we could clearly see 
that they lack in the top department. No matter what size you get, I feel like it's just never true to size. So the thing is, is that I even thought about getting like a plus size. I thought about getting maybe like a 2X or a 3X in the top, but then the problem always is, is on the bottom. I have a really tiny waist on the top because I'm very hourglass figure. So even if I were to get the size 2X, 3X to fit my actual chest, then the bottoms would never fit. So I kind of have to compromise and get like an extra large, which this fits like a medium to me. And I just kind of have to compromise and work with the tops on the sizing because that's just what it is. So this is the bathing suit number one, which I really love it. I love the color. I love the, like the fit of it. I like the way that they sit on my hips. I'm not really built to like wear like the string bikinis and stuff because I got all this going on, you know. This is mom body right here. <laughs> Quarantine weight, corona weight. I gained like about five pounds. Well, it was about eight pounds and then I lost the three. Just over like the last month, I've lost three pounds. But I was like up to eight pounds that I had gained. But I honestly wouldn't even say it was quarantine weight. It was more corona weight because I had got corona back in January and I lost 12 pounds. And then as soon as I could eat again, it was over. I think I gained like, I gained all of that and then some probably within like two months. I mean, I was just eating like nobody's business. So that is the result of this body this year is... I'm going to call it Corona weight. <laughs> okay, y'all. So this is bathing suit number two. Again, I was kind of like going for like loud colors this year. I really wanted like the neon orange, a neon green. So I essentially got this for the color and nothing more. I do like the fit of this and what I also like about this one as well is that this right here is actually adjustable. So you can actually take this off and wear it either way. So you could wear it like this or you can tie this in the middle and make it like cute. I like it tied because I feel like it defines my, my chest a little bit better. And I will say the bottoms, out of all these bathing suits, I will say these are probably like the tightest around my stomach area. They're a lot tighter than the first ones I had on and the other ones that I have that I'll show you. It's not like excessively tight where it makes me look bad. So I'm still gonna wear it. It's just a little snug. It's more snug than I would like it to be. Let's just say that. So I do love the fit of this, like I said. I have found that the bottoms that actually sit on my on my hips actually look the best and make my figure look more like the most flattering I'll say. This one is very cheeky. Very, very cheeky. Cheekier than the other bathing suits that I have. So but that doesn't bother me. This is something that I'll wear like on the beach when I go on vacation or something. I'm really happy with this one. All right, this one is bathing suit number three. So, I mean, I, I will say out of all these bathing suits I bought from Shein, this is probably my least favorite. Least favorite. The fit is very, very, very terrible. Again, every single one of these bathing suits are an extra large. But out of all these bathing suits, this is the worst top. It just, it just doesn't fit. There's like all this extra boob fat right here that like hangs out. This part doesn't fit. It kind of gives me like a little bit of back fat. And again, I know that I've gained a little bit of weight, not excessive weight, but it's enough weight where I notice it myself. And this, I mean, these straps are so, like, just so tiny that, like, it cuts into this part and it's really, really uncomfortable. So, 
hands down don't like it it's a zero out of ten the bottoms you know again are a good fit because they sit right at the hips where it looks good on my figure but this is just it's a no it's a hands down it's a no dog it's a no <laughs> I really wanted like a lot of bright colors this summer and I was looking for like a perfect yellow this is not it I I, I, I don't love it but I don't hate it but it's definitely like not the yellow that I was expecting that I bought online when I looked at the color online it looked cute but now that I have it in person and it's here it's just like eh. it's 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 a no for me dog it's it's a no don't like it it'll probably get returned or donated I don't know yet but it's it's not for me I don't like it okay so something that I forgot to mention with this particular bathing suit of why I hate it is because this little concoction here in the back so hard to try to put it on like when you're putting on like a bra so you literally like no matter how much that you try to I guess figure out how to put it on you can't put it on backwards like you literally have to put this on in front of you and you then have to scoot it around the back and then put it on. And I, I don't like that. This is just atrocious. I hate it. It's, it's just dumb. Okay, y'all. So this is bathing suit number four. So I kind of like switched it up on y'all a little bit. So if you guys remember my Shein haul last year, I had bought a, a sheer white bathing suit pant and I was gonna put that on with this white bathing suit but of course I can't find it and what's funny about it is that I literally took it out of my summer vault two weeks ago because I knew that I was gonna buy this I was like oh I'm gonna put this on when I do like my Shein haul and now I don't know where it's at. <laughs> but I really wanted to put uh, the white pants on over this so that you could kind of see like it would be like a cute little beach vibe type of thing. But I did put this um, bathing suit cover up on. This is from Ross. I bought this who maybe like two summers ago and I want to say maybe it was clear water. Ross or maybe even Orlando when I took my son to um, Universal Studios but I love 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 this and then this is just again another sun hat from one of the beach vendors in Florida back maybe like two summers ago um, so this is just like kind of like a vibe of what I wanted you guys to see but I will say that I absolutely love this bathing suit again I love the fit of it Normally, I would never, ever, ever, ever buy like a halter top because, again, I'm a size 36 triple D. So the weight of my boobs and having to carry them around my neck is really, it is hard, okay? It's hard to carry all this weight and it really is uncomfortable. So I, I typically don't ever, ever go for halter top bathing suits. But... I have been on the hunt also for a very very cute white bathing suit as well and this is the one that I found and it was probably the cutest one that I found on Shein's website a lot of the white bathing suits that I found like in top wise that were cute the bottoms they were like the string bikini where I mean in reality like I'm not skinny enough to be wearing like little string bikini bathing suits they just they just don't look good on me because i i'm just i have a little extra weight i have a little extra you know thickness going on so to me that type of fit doesn't fit for me so this was the only one that i could find that you know the bottoms would fit good for my body type 
and I love it. The material is actually really, really soft and the bottoms again are very cheeky and it fits really, really well. The, the material actually isn't bad. So they actually fit, which is, which is a plus. <laughs> So yeah, this is the bathing suit number four. All right, y'all. So this is the final bathing suit that I am trying on tonight. This is the one that is from Walmart. It is not from Shein. Although I will say that between these two bathing suits, the material is literally almost exactly identical. Very, very, very similar. The only difference is, is that this one is from Shein and then this one is from Walmart. Material is literally almost exactly the same. But I will say that I do like the shape of it. I kind of wish the top was like a little bit different. This kind of reminds me of the, the lime green one that I tried on previously. It's almost the same type of shape on the top but I do wish that like I had like a little thing in the middle that kind of just shaped my chest a little bit differently. But all in all, I do like the, the shape that it fits of my body. I like the color. The color almost reminds me of a bathing suit that I kind of already have from like two summers ago. This one's more of like a mauve color though. This one is also very, very cheeky back there. But I, all in all, I do like it. I will wear it this summer. But I do kind of, like I said, I do just wish that the top just kind of fit a little bit differently. Because I, I almost feel like it reminds me of a sports bra, kind of. But I still like it, though. So this is the last and final bathing suit of the haul. And this one was the, the oddball. This is the one that was from Walmart. But again, I do enjoy Walmart's bathing suits um, a lot. So I decided to just go ahead and throw it in with the haul. So this is the final one. All right, y'all. So this is going to conclude my whole haul of my Shein bathing suits. So just a little, um, I guess, recap of everything that I bought. The orange one is my number one favorite. This one was probably my favorite fit, my favorite style, my favorite print, all of that. The only thing, the only thing I will complain about is between this one and that really, really bad yellow one that I hate is that the back of these bathing suits, I don't know how to explain it, but like, you can't put it on this way and try to hook it because no matter how much you try to practice of like how you put this together, you'll never get it. So what you have to do is you have to put it on like this, clip it in the front, and then, you know, maneuver it to the back, which I, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. I wish this would have been like, a tie or like just a regular ass hook like most bathing suits are like I don't know what what she in don't don't do this again just don't like future reference never again use this little concoction y'all have put together because it's terrible I don't like it uh, the green one was again one of my favorites I like the fact that they give you this little extra tie if you don't like that option, you can wear it like just straight across. But I like it, again, just because it shapes my boobs better than just not wearing it. And then this yellow one was atrocious. The color looked so much better online when I ordered it. And I thought it was going to be this really, really luscious, like pretty yellow. And it's not. Like on camera, it looks okay, but like in person, off camera, it, it's bad. Like the color yellow is terrible. Again, it's this stupid ass thing. I hate the hook in the back. There's not enough material. This is not an extra large Shein. I don't know. I don't know who's designing your bathing suits. Probably men. 
probably men because they know nothing. Uh, this is not an extra large. I'm sorry, but this is not. So this one will be going back, not keeping that or it's getting donated. And then I don't know where my white, oh, I dropped it. White one, super, super good. This is probably next to the orange one, probably one of my other favorite ones. Um, again, like I said in the video, I hardly ever, ever, ever do not do halter tops. Like just because again, with my me being um, top heavy, I'm just, my chest is just way too big for halter tops to be trying to carry around my big old titties. The weight of them is just, it's not, <laughs> it's not for me. But I love the fit of this. This is probably, probably one of my favorites. Like along with the orange one, like I said, again, I was looking for like a really, really pretty white bathing suit. I don't know why white bathing suits are so hard to find, but the ones that Shein had, the bottoms were just all string bikinis. Some of us are not built to have string bikinis, Shein, okay? So let's kind of calm down with the string bikinis, please, and thank you. And then this last one is the one that was from Walmart. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I will never not I will never not buy bathing suits from Walmart. So far, Walmart has never disappointed me in their bathing suit section. And I got a really nice green one from there last year, which I still love it. I still wear it so far. This year, I'm going to you know, wear my, my new bathing suits that I have found. But that would probably be my only complaint about Shein is that they really lack in the department of sizing. And it's not even just with bathing suits. I will say anybody that has ordered from Shein, I think can honestly agree with me that Shein is so hit or miss in the sizing department. Whether it's whether you're buying a bathing suit top or whether you're buying clothing from Shein, sometimes you get really, really good shit. And then other times it's like, what the fuck? What the fuck, Shein? But definitely in their bathing suits department, I will say they lack material in the tops because their sizing is just so off. Bottoms fit pretty great. I think the extra larges are just a tiny bit too big for me on the bottoms. I, I would probably prefer a medium or a large, but because I'm a 36 triple D, I cannot fit their mediums or larges. I have to get the extra larges. And even then, as you guys can tell, the extra larges in their tops still don't fit. They just lack material. And like I was explaining to you guys in part of the video, I can't buy the plus size because then the bottoms would really not fit. And so therefore I have to sacrifice a little bit of maneuvering with my chest versus like the bottoms. Luckily I'm very hippie and I got a little bit of a booty. I, I mean, I, if it were up to me, I'd have a lot more. <laughs> but you know, I have what I have. So I kind of have to just work with what I've got, work with the body that I have, and that's just what it is. But I will say that that is my number one complaint with Shein, is that the bathing suit tops never, ever, 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 ever fit properly. But that concludes my haul. I will say that I had a, um, a hell of a lot more luck this year than I did last year. The bathing suits last year were terrible. This year, I really got into some good luck with them. The only one, like I said, that I really hated was that yellow one. And out of the five bathing suits that I got, only one not fitting properly or me not liking is, is pretty dope to me. I got my money's worth out of the things that I bought. I really, I think I spent less than $50 on all of these, which again, you know, it kind of goes in hand in hand with Shein. You know, you're, you're essentially paying for what you're getting. So Shein does have affordable prices. They have affordable clothing for people that want to be stylish. And that's the thing with Shein. They actually have very, very stylish purses, heels, clothing, bathing suits, things that are in season. And you can actually afford them and not have to spend an arm and a leg. Uh, I don't know if anybody has ever discovered their purse department, but oh my God. I mean, they have all types of purses that can go with many types of like photo shoot ideas. I have so many, when I go through their purse department, I'm like, oh my God, that would be a perfect photo shoot for this. And that'd be a perfect photo shoot for that. 
perfect for for people that are trendy and people that want to you know make a statement in their fashion with photo shoots and stuff like that so they're really good for things like that i just again really wish they would work on their sizing chart because they'd be way off so that concludes my uh shein bathing suit haul i hope you guys liked it please leave any comments uh or questions you guys have below i will try to link things i always say that and then i'm really bad about not linking things so i will try to link things in the description box below and thank you for continuously subscribing liking and sharing and supporting uh, my channel so thank you I will see you guys in my next video.